Yo, what is up guys and welcome to another Wild Rift video. So hey, the new patch preview for patch 5.0 just got released. I want to remind you, whenever we get like a new number, I don't think it means anything. I think it only means that we head into a new year. So I, th I just want to clear a common misconception. I'm pretty sure about this. I think I've heard devs talk about this before. So like this doesn't mean it's supposed to be like a groundbreaking new patch. It's just a new year. But let's take a look. New dragon sightings. First of all, dragon sightings. That sounds like changes to the dragon, right? Again, I I have no idea what's coming in this video, by the way. So let's take a look. Anything, John? Um, nothing there. Maybe we got that further. Well, let's get into it. What are they talking about? Let me check if the audio is good and everything. Yep, audio is good. Champions. Oh, we got new champions, huh? Syndra. Syndra. Dark sovereign. Syndra. Wait, isn't Syndra the champion in T? I, I remember Syndra is like a champion that can throw other champions on something on TFT. Comes rolling to the rift with her dark spheres. Wait, what is that? Ready to overwhelm her opponents with Looks like a mid laner. Syndra is a long range burst mage who is adept at controlling fights from afar and at the drop of the hat. Oh, she has a lot of balls. Oh, let's take a look at that again. Who is adept look at those balls. At controlling fights from afar. And at the drop of the hat, Ooh. obliterate her opponents with unleashed power. Ooh. Sharpen your knives because the next Rift recruit likes his weapons well home. Oh, that's Talon. That's Talon. I know Talon uh, because of TFT again. This is like an assassin champion, right? By the way, guys, I am doing a skin giveaway. I still haven't picked winners for the last giveaway, which I will do very, very soon. Uh, but giving away three skins this month, and all you have to do to enter is put on a comment. Also, give the video a like if you're enjoying it. Talon, yeah. So this is an assassin champion. Before they even notice him. I don't know. I don't know how he works, but that's pretty crazy. He can jump over walls like that. He became invisible and he jumped on an enemy. Oh my god! Okay. Interesting. More? There's another champion, Harbinger of Death. Harbinger of Death. Oh, Kindred! Oh my cousin is gone. Oh, my cousin is gonna love this. My cousin, my cousin told me basically he's never gonna play Wild Rift until Kindred comes out. I know how Kindred works, at, at least because my cousin played it so much. This champion can is gonna mark enemy champ. You can mark an enemy champion if you attack. If you kill the champion, you're gonna get bonus damage. Also, jungle camps are gonna get marked. You can take them, but enemies can see who's marked as well, so they can like sort of deny it from you. You can make crazy outplays. You can bait enemies to the marks and gank other lanes. And I think Kindred has an ultimate where no one dies within this ultimate also enemies are not gonna die so like if an evelyn jumps on you you can use your kindred ultimate and you're not gonna die from it but the problem is enemies are not gonna die from it too but basically that's the champion very very cool kindred is a very nice champion enemies with their dance of arrows and she has like a dog yeah there's the dog quick bow and wolf's ferocious bite they will deliver you from the mortal realm and she's a ranged champion she's a ranged jungler reworks Okay, we obviously know about the Garen and and, and oh the Darius God, reworks. Is that Aesol? Is that Aesol? Wait, is that Aesol? Oh, finally, so we're getting the Aurelian Soul course, rework. The finally. With a completely new set of skills and a powerful passive, Ooh. Aesol will be able to properly scale. Oh, that's the PC Aesol. I don't know how it works, but Gragas I know it's a lot better than the normal because Aurelian Soul right now is like. Come on, it's really stupid. The kit is just incredibly stupid. No one really plays him. But I think like now he has like an infinite scaling thing. And he's gonna be a crazy late game champion. Don't get me wrong. He is. Gragas rework? I'm gonna guess what it is. I'm gonna guess that you can cancel his abilities much faster and just do the combos a lot faster. That's what I'm gonna guess. Like you can do the combos much faster and not like have all this time that you have to wait while you use your abilities. Yes! Yes! I was right! I was right! That's exactly what it is! All Look, this is what I mean! Soul. You see how we can now... This is... This, I just said that, come on, I just said that. This is exactly what I said. So you can use your ability and then instantly, like, ex instantly go. Look at that. First ability, instant dash. Oh, that is such a good rework. Oh, that is such a good rework. Oh my god. This is gonna make Graga so much better, but in a good way. Oh, you can do ridiculous combos on Gragas now. Look, if they nerf his damage, it's fine. That makes sense. But now you can do you can do crazy combos on him now. I think you should even be able to to use your second ability during your third ability now. Oh, that is amazing! Yumi reworked. 
We think she deserves to be one of the best supports. Yeah, and I think you deserve to. Yeah, I'm not gonna say that. We're not doing her justice quite yet. What do you mean, Jesus Christ? Look at what he said. You guys have, you guys have subtitles as well. We think she deserves to be one of the best supports. Let's, let's just look at that again. For new players, for new players. And, and we're, we're not, not doing her justice, justice quite yet. yet. Yeah, no, I mean, I, it seems like there are people that just don't even have fingers that play. Even with, I, I honestly think, even without fingers, you can get to like Grandmaster with Yumi. I genuinely, genuinely believe if you would get Yumi every game, so if it's if she's not banned. Without, like, even if you miss two hands, you should be able to reach Grandmaster rank with your feet or something, or with your tongue. What did they change about her? So they're gonna buff her when she's alone. Wukong? What do work? Increasing his physical prowess, Wukong is able to sustain and stick around and fight for longer. In terms of the mind, wait, what just happened? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, what? Did you see how his... How his how his clone followed the enemy? Look, look, look. The clone followed the enemy. Look, look, look. Look, when he uses his clone. Look, look, you see how the clone. The clone was following Riven. Oh. The clone can use the third ability. Okay, I like that. Actually, I love that. I really love that. Honestly, up until now, only positive changes. I wonder what they're gonna do with the matchmaking, though. Top laners often feel isolated. From yeah, the of the top laners feel isolated. That's right. That's right. To give them more opportunities for our place, we've added an alcove to the lane. What is that? This additional playground gives you the possibility to avoid vision. Are they gonna add a bush? What? The jungler on new gank strategies. The hostile item has been a big hit. Wait, what? Hello, what is this? The additional playing on. We've added an alcove to the lane. Oh, to the lane. This additional playground gives you the possibility to avoid vision and coordinate with your jungler on new gank strategies. The hostile. Oh, oh, is that from PC League? You have this additional additional place that you can go. Like you have the lane, and then you can go behind it as well. Is that an? Al what is an alcove? What is an alcove? Alcove meaning... Yes! A recess in the wall! Oh! Okay! That's gonna change it! In, so, I think only... Let, let's just go back. I think only in the Baron lane we're gonna get this alcove. So you can kind of avoid a gank with that and just outplay the enemy. So the ultimate spellbook has this item, hard steel. Oh, they added hard steel to Wild Rift. I have no idea how the item works, by the way. We've also got some brand new items in store. Titanic Hydra. Titanic Hydra. Helping you splash damage across multiple opponents. What? What does that do? Of Wait. Titanic Hydra. Helping you splash damage across multiple opponents. Oh! You see that? You see that red thing? Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Look. Titanic Hydra. You see that red? It, it puts like a red aura in behind the enemy. So like you hit an enemy from front and it's gonna hit everyone. Giving you the awakening dragon effect after you cast your ultimate. Wait, what? Improving your move speed and accelerating your ongoing ability cooldowns. To top it Surgeon, off, I don't know what it does. Some existing it said it gives you awakened dragon stuff. Let's look at that again. And Spear of, Spear of Sojin, giving you the awakening, you the dragon, awakening effect dragon effect after you, and your after you cast your ultimate, your which improves your movement and speed and accelerates your ongoing ability goals. To top it all off, we'll be adjusting know. some existing, adjusting items. existing items. So check out the new patch notes for more info. Okay, we'll see about that. your own lane in the early stage of the game is usually a solid strategy. However, we also know that when you leave you to help your teammates or take another objective, those past key siege minions can make it tough to get mm. your own lane back on your control. So to take pressure off, we've replaced the periodic siege minions with new slightly weaker minions. Oh, the minions cannon minions. Again, the support cannon minions. To host desire. The cannon minions are going to be weaker. You know what? I like that change as well. To be fair, I feel like the cannon minions are a little bit annoying. When you shove a wave under the turret, the cannon minion will just tank everything. But now it's not gonna tank everything. Like it's just gonna kill the wave. I think that's good. I love that. Wait, what did he say? Rift Herald. He's talking about Herald now. Okay, so when releasing Rift Herald, there are a lot of things to consider. Where the enemy minions are, which lane you should pick, and so on. Okay. So we've decided to make things a bit more straightforward. Instead of attacking the closest minions, 
the harrow will now go straight for the enemy target. Ah, okay. This way... You know what? You know what? I like this change because even though you may be thinking, you know, this makes the game easier, blah, blah. I, no, 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 no. This is, this is sort of a quality of life update because you know how annoying it is when, you, you know, you put down the Herald and it just goes on a minion. You know what I mean? It goes on a minion and then the enemies just take the Herald and you just lost an entire Herald. I love this. I think this is great. So you can just put it, you don't have to get under the turret now anymore. You can just put it in the middle of the lane uh, unless like there's, <laughs> unless there's like a lot of enemies ready to kill it. A great change. Honestly, up until now, I would say everything I, I like. I'm very positive and about. No very, very good changes. And when you release her, to highlight this, we've also added an effect to the mini map, so you can see which target the Harrow will hit next. Okay, game modes. Oh, we're gonna see the Earth, a Earth, whatever, one for all, one for all the Earths. We get you experience what works. But I'm gonna watch it for you guys. Then improve. By the way, let me know your thoughts about the patch, guys. Uh, I'm curious what you guys think. We're, we're not even halfway through the video, but let me know your thoughts, guys. I'm very curious. Even more enticing. With this change comes 20. Yes, 20 new year's dragon themed augments. Oh, that's cool. New augments. Okay, that's cool. So the augments are the, the tiny little upgrades. Well, not tiny. The massive upgrades you get, you know, when you play arena. And you, they're going to add 20 more augments. It's really cool. That's why we're adding some NPCs. That should be well known to some of you. And you now get the opportunity to battle an AI host during your base. So you're always in the midst of the battle action. What are they talking about? To make Arena even more worth your while, there will be new bonuses, rewards, and augments. Ah. We're introducing Arena's very own rank system. Okay. Whether you just want to track your own team's progress or want to compare your stats to other duels, we are giving you a new platform to okay. see your growth okay. through the For the people that don't want to play normal ranked, okay. This mode can be quite long and intense. To give you a little breather on your road to victory, we've added an augment of cash in the ninth round where all the remaining teams fight together. This will give you the opportunity uh, to win rewards. Wait, 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 what? We've added all gloves of cash. What is that? And all gloves of cash in the ninth round, where all the remaining teams fight together. This is the ninth this round. Will give you the opportunity to win Everyone is fighting each other. Without losing any health. Come out of this refreshed and strengthened to finish your firing mission. Huh? His standard I don't understand that cooldowns are a critical aspect. I think play, yeah, I don't know. We then broke all those rules with Earth, and now we want to try a new hybrid a new hybrid mode, mode. Okay. double cast. Double cast. Ah, double old spell sling of Earth. We just have double old provide specific window yeah. where your abilities fully refresh. Oh, every so ability refreshes. Oh, yo, yo, that's crazy. Every ability is doubled. That is pretty crazy. That is. Imagine Alistar. Oh my god. We did not forget about the auto attack reliant champions either. And so after a number of attacks, your next auto will count as a double hit, applying all the effects of your Okay, yeah, nice. Okay, that's actually fun for the casual player. Yeah, that's good. That's cool. That's actually really cool. Honestly, this is the first time ever that I haven't been negative at all seven minutes into the video. This is honestly great. Wow. Yeah, wow. Like, honestly, props to them. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Finally, we get to the important part. New year, new season. All right. This patch will kick off Rank Season 12. That's right, baby. And with it comes a new reward. New reward? Xinjiang will be added to your rank store. Okay. And as a special little treat to make Legendary queue even more exciting. Okay. Watch this space for renewed rewards coming your way. I mean, rewards, I don't really, I never buy the wild pass. I hope you're hungry for the new Wait. wild pass. Wait, is that it? <laughs> is that it for the rank changes? They went to the wild pass, but are they? Did they just? Okay. First up, we have a little zesty addition, Foo Spirits Vagar. This. Yeah, I'm not buying wild passes anymore. Take him seriously. I used to do that, but I, I haven't bought wild passes for like a year. Fruit skewer, you will bring darkness upon you with a little zing zing. The second wild pass is a bit on the snappy side, so watch your fingers. Black Frost Renekton is dumping the hot sands of Sharima for the chili company of the Black right. Frost Army. Don't be iced out and come get your wild passes. Wow, they, uh, that's actually it for the ranked mode. They're not changing matchmaking. Wait, what? We still have two minutes, but... It's Lunar New Year, and this Lunar Year marks the return of the dragon. 
bringing with it plenty of fiery goodies. I mean, of course, they're gonna add all these types of events because the game is very prominent in China, right? So it's it's actually it actually looks like a very fun event. I'm glad we're getting it as well in the Western regions. More to celebrate. More dragons? Oh no, David. But equally as exciting. Watch out. Good timing for the Aurelian soul change as well. Skins, okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna buy any skins myself in this. Whether you're harboring let's take a look at them. totally healthy dragon obsession like yours truly, or see your higher calling more in the wild, wild west, these skins have you covered. Akshan Dawnbringer. Doesn't really look like a cool skin. This one looks cool though. Oh my god, wait a minute. That one looks very cool. He looks like uh, Todoroki. Does anyone know who Todoroki is? With like the blue fire and the, the blue, the blue um, ice and the red fire. What an amazing skin, oh my god. Kane Nightbringer? I mean, Kane has all... Every skin of Kane is amazing. This looks cool as well. I don't like this one though. Leona High Noon, ooh. Samira High Noon. Wait, she, I thought she already had a High Noon skin because Lucian had one. I guess she didn't. Twitch High Noon? Okay. Ghana Lunar and Empress. Nasus. How many skins does Nasus have, dude? That's crazy how many skins this champion has. He's not popular at all. Oh, that's sick. Aurelian Soul, of course. It's a shame I'm not getting any of them. Graves, Dragon Lantern. Zyra, Dragon Lantern as well. It's a lot of skins, man. Caitlyn, Bajo, Academia. I, I, this is part, this is such a stupid skin. Who the hell wants Jay's Battle Academy? Uh? Kindred. Oh yeah, Kindred, of course. Cat and Dog. Because she's a dog. Warden. Nautilus, alright. Syndra Spirit Blossom. Now I know what the extra two minutes were about. Urgot Pajama Guardian, look at that. That's such a cool skin. Wait, let's play the video. That's such a cool skin. Oh, David. Wow, there are actually no matchmaking changes. Damn it, man. Yeah, man. I am so old uh, dragons. Oh, you're so pretty. It might take a while, but that's everything for this patch. We hope you have a blast with our new game modes, thrilling events, and also, Damn. did I mention dragons? Okay, okay, we're done. Back to the shadows with Dear. you. Thanks for watching, and see you on the rift. All right, guys. Let me know your thoughts on the patch. Um, that's going to be it for the video. It's a little bit shorter than I thought. Because we saw a lot of skins and everything. Um, curious to hear what you guys think about it. And yeah, I guess uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next Wild Rift video.